So now we're going to go over the practice problems for Unit 5, Lesson 2, the changing temperatures. Um, let's get started. So the temperature is negative 2 degrees Celsius. The temperature rises by 15 degrees. So it is, it's where it starts. It rises by 15. What's the new temp? Okay, so we know how to do this. Um, I know that I'm going to start face move end, right? I'm starting at negative two and I'm facing to the right. So let's get started here on this. Um, still, I'm starting at negative two. I'm facing to the right. Okay. Rises by 15 degrees, so that means it's positive 15. If it's positive, that means it moves forward. In this case, it moves forward 15. So I'm going in this direction, 15 places. So I'm starting at negative two, so I know that's below zero. So the first thing I have to do is pass by zero. From negative two to zero is two places. So out of the 15, I've already gone two. So that means I need to go 13 more. So two and then 13. So that's going to put me at positive 13 for my end place. So what is the new temperature? The new temperature is 13 degrees Celsius. Okay, this problem you need to be careful. It's a little bit different. So at midnight, the temperature is negative six degrees Celsius. So let's come over here, start, face, move end. I'm starting at negative six. At midday, the temperature is nine degrees Celsius. By how much did it rise? So it's asking me, normally it tells us what to do in the middle. See this one, it tells it rises by 15. That's not what's happening here. It's telling us the beginning and the end. It starts at negative six, and it ends at positive nine. So this is gonna look a little bit different than anything that we've you know, really practiced so far. So I'm gonna make my number line, and it's gonna look different because my start, I know where I start, and I know where I end. So I'm starting, I'm gonna draw this down here, negative six, and I'm ending over here at positive nine. And the other thing that I do know is that I'm facing to the right because I am adding for all of these, right? So I'm facing to the right. Actually, you know what? I am gonna to continue to put that in a different color. Facing right. So now the only other thing that I need to figure out is what direction I'm going in. Well, I know if I start here and I end there, I have to go in that direction I'm facing to the right, I'm going forward, right? Moving forward, how many places? Well, I'm at negative six, that means I have to pass by zero. So from negative six to zero, it's six, but I am gonna keep going until I get to positive nine. So if I already went six, and then from zero to nine is nine, I know that if I take my six and I go nine more, that would be over here. This is what I'm figuring out in my head. That would be six plus nine, because that's how far I traveled on the number line. I traveled 15 places. So that would mean forward 15. So by how much did the temperature rise? Well, the answer, is that it went up 15. So it went up 15 degrees Celsius. Complete each statement with a number that makes the statement true. 
Okay, so this says that some number that you get to pick is less than seven degrees Celsius. Okay, so I think before that, we need to think about our number line, okay? I know that when I go, like if I put a zero here, it doesn't really matter exactly, but I'm gonna put it there just so we can think about it. But if I go in this direction, the numbers get smaller, right? And if I go in this direction, my numbers are going to get bigger or larger. Right? So I want something that's smaller than seven. So if I think about my number line, I've got seven degrees and I want my answer to be smaller, it's anything in this direction. So for my answer, I could put six degrees or five degrees or anything else that goes in this direction. So that means even below zero or anything negative 10, anything at all. So anything on this side of the number line is what can go here. Next one, also smaller than the given temperature, so just like above, but in this case, the number I'm starting at is negative three. So when I think about that, I've got zero up here, so I'm not gonna have any positive numbers. I'm only, again, going to have numbers that go in this direction from that negative three, because this is my smaller direction which is what this says, this is less than. So anything less than is smaller than negative three. So I'm going further away from zero, so I would have like say negative four or negative five or negative 10, anything that goes in this direction. So as my negatives get smaller than negative three, that's what would go here. Next, so this one is different. I'm gonna draw this number line and it has to be between two numbers, okay? So this is the small end. So I'm gonna put that here, zero point, oh, negative 0 0.8, sorry. And it can go to negative 0 0.1. So if I think about it this way, I'm just gonna remember that zero is here and my answer can be anywhere in the middle here. So that would be anything like right here, whoops, would be say negative 0 0.7. Over here would be, remember getting further away from zero, so this would be like negative 0 0.2 negative 0 0.6, negative 0 0.3, negative 0 0.4, negative 0 0.5. So basically any of those numbers and anything in between those, okay? But those would be the basics of what would go here. Next, uh, look at this. This one, we've got greater than. So that means that's greater so all of our answers are going to be bigger than negative two. So if I draw out my number line, and here I am, negative two, the bigger end goes in this direction. This is where I'm heading. If I wanna think about that, I've got zero here. Do it every time. <laughs> There's zero and anything above it. So to be safe, I mean anything positive. Certainly here we've got negative one, which I know is not positive, but then anything positive. is what can go here. Okay, so one more time, anything in that direction starting at negative two. Draw a diagram to represent these situations. Write an addition expression. Well, we've been doing this all along. So we completely have this. We just need to cruise right through these. 
start face, move end. The temperature was 80, so that's where I'm starting. I'm facing to the right, and then fell 20, so I know that that's negative 20. <laughs> negative means I go back, and in this case, 20. So here's my number line. I'm gonna put my 80 in the center. Okay, that was just silly. 80. I know I'm facing to the right. I'm moving back in this direction, 20 places. So this is 20 places away from 80, getting smaller. I'm gonna end here at 60. So my answer is positive 60. So the final te temperature in this case is positive 60 degrees. <laughs> Not Celsius this time, I'm doing Fahrenheit. There's my final answer, okay? Temperature was negative 13, start face move end. So I'm starting at negative 13, I'm facing to the right, and then it, ro it rose nine degrees. So that's a positive nine. That means I'm moving forward nine. So here I am, I've got my negative 13 is where I'm starting, I'm facing to the right. I'm moving forward, that means I'm going in this direction, nine places. So I know my negative 13 is 13 places away from zero. I'm not going all the way to zero. I'm moving nine places. So if I start at 13, I like to get to my 10. So if I get to 10, negative 10, I mean, that would be three. I've already gone three, I need to go six more. So negative 10, six more, that'd be negative four is where I'm gonna end up. I would end at negative four. Oh, I did forget, my gosh. I forgot to write my addition expression for the last one and this one. So let's finish the one that we're on right now so we don't get too confused. My final end place is negative four. So let's write that addition expression. I'm starting at negative 13. Facing right, that's an addition, and it says addition. Forward nine means it's positive nine, and that equals negative four degrees Fahrenheit. Glad I caught that. I'm sorry if I confused any of you. So that is the final answer, and this is the expression that gets us to that final answer. Let's go back up here and write this one too. I'm starting at 80. Whoops, that's icky. I'm starting at 80. <laughs> it's the angle that I do these on. I can't lean on it because then everything moves around. So this is an eight. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I start at 80. I'm adding negative 20. And that's gonna equal 60 degrees. Fahrenheit. Okay, one more time, and then we are done with these. Start face, move end. I'm starting at negative five. I know I'm facing to the right because I'm doing an addition problem, and then it fell eight. That's negative eight. So I'm going to move back eight places. Back, eight. So here I am, and I'm gonna be at starting at negative five. I'm gonna be facing to the right. I'm moving back, so that's in this direction. Moving back eight. So, Remember, zero is here. I'm getting further away from zero. So I like to, I've said this before a few times, kind of think about where the 10 is. 10 is here. I'm moving eight places. So from negative five to negative 10, this is five of those places. I need to move three more. 
which means I'm going to end at negative 13. So my expression and then my final temperature, I've got negative 5 plus negative 8 equals negative 13 degrees Fahrenheit.